Hi there, welcome to the Farmer Shadow. My name is Paul. In this episode, we're going to talk about transitioning from, from one crop to the next and how to incorporate kind of the old crop debris um, into the bed to help build its fertility. And those are the steps that we're gonna go through today. So thanks for watching. The steps went through uh, with the, this this season's planting so far. We removed the, the gourds, um, the, the fruits, we cut down the uh, broom corn and took the stalks away and the seeds away. A bunch of beans came out of here, uh, some, some tomatoes, some eggplants, um, not too many other things, but there's a lot of nutrients we're, we're exporting off of this site, we're re removing. So um, all the plant material that was left over, we did this mincing effect. It's kind of the poor man's uh, flail mower. Weed whacker, lawn mower, weed whacker, lawn mower, dropping all that in place. That's gonna be nutrients uh, for the microbes and eventually uh, add to the organic percentage of, uh, organic matter percentage of the soil, along with sequestering the carbon. And I, we left it all on top. So we didn't turn it in. Um, so it's just kind of a layer of, of, of carbons and a little bit of greens, but mostly it desiccated in the sun. So it's mostly just carbon. Then we covered that with uh, soil and compost from the walkways where we, we had really uh, focused on putting compost in the walkways along with chopped down weeds. Then I tarped it and soaked it before I tarped it. Then over the season, that moisture stayed there. All those, all that organic material broke down and literally turned into a worm farm under there. We scooped all that up, threw it onto the beds. Um, it was really convenient to have it, have this really high quality soil amendment right next to each one of the beds, scooped it right over. Along with some of the soil, I want to actually raise these beds. I'm thinking that um, getting the feeling that it's going to be a really wet year and what we have in these beds is is uh, Are things that I don't want the beds to be overly uh, Saturated and soggy. We won't be able to dry them down for the uh, uh, Shallots and bulbing onions and garlic that'll be a snag. So I'm trying to like heft up the beds for that um, now, we, we actually had the time to rake them. That was, I didn't think I was gonna be able to rake the beds, but that was really great to kind of feather out, get all the humps down, and they looked really good. And so we were able to do a little bit of raking and do a little bit of fine texture on that. That was great. Um, then we put our soil food, the COF, and I used uh, alfalfa pellets because I couldn't find the really small rabbit pellets that I wanted. So I used alfalfa pellets, one bag of rice bran pellets and one bag of oyster shell and uh, that that got broadcast out on these beds ran the irrigation all the pellets are all swollen now and just crumbling apart now we're in the process of now covering that with a couple inches of composted horse manure and then we're going to be planting right through it and it's it's mostly garlic shallots and later there'll be onion starts um, seedlings and leek seedlings fava beans peas other things but everything is uh, there won't be any tilling we don't need to the soil is all alive and fluffy and when I cut all those plants off the gourds and the um, uh, sorghum and all everything else those roots were still the whole matrix of roots were in place those roots are just in the stage of dying now those roots have all kinds of live microbes on them still. So without disturbing the soil, we should have a lot of good, healthy biology. Those microbes are going to be looking for new roots to establish very soon. Um, so that's, uh, we're at the stage of now um, planting the garlic 
And uh, this first bed is what we're gonna fo focus on today. Get them all planted out. It's gonna, it's gonna establish our, our uh, spacing for the garlic and then I'll figure out, do I need more? Do I have enough? So that's where we're at. I think that's just kind of a quick synopsis of, of what, uh, what I'm doing with this soil and building its fertility and kind of focusing on not extracting from it. At the same time, I haven't done any soil tests yet, um, but I will, and we'll compare that uh, to what, what I need to do in the future. And um, so I think that's it for kind of a quick rundown on um, preparing these beds and kind of a concept of building fertility. So thanks for watching.